Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dead Space 2. In the last episode, we got through chapter 1, we escaped- oh. We escaped the, uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, don't show that again. Uh, in the last episode, we managed to escape from our confinement. Uh, we were attacked by another necromorph outbreak, and uh, we managed to get away, all while in a straitjacket. Uh, after that, we managed to get our suit. We managed to get our um, our weapons, and we are now on our way to meet. I believe her name is her name Diane. I may be completely wrong. I may be completely wrong. But we're in Chapter 2 now. Load game. Uh, chapter 2. Yeah, I've got a... Uh, CC Vessel en engineers carry one power node with them at all times to unlock emergency supply rooms. Contents of these rooms can be random. That's not a bad idea, actually. Alright. Well, anyway, we are back. Oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna reload my save. <laughs> okay, there, there we go. I don't want to reload for no reason. Anyway, let's get going. Oh my. Alright. Oh, we got a power node? Okay, let's kill you. Let's kill you. Let's go back. We got a power node, we can open this and maybe get some ammo. Maybe it's useless as well, but. Text log. What do we got? Gosh, I love this game. Uh, do not forward authorized persons only. Titan Station unemployment grew unexpectedly to 9.5% due to collateral job losses from the ongoing collapse of local planet cracking business. The aftermath of the Ishimura incident continues to depress all planet cracking activity as more and more support services go out of business, leaving less and less capacity for planet cracking. However, Titan Station continues to post a small profit, buoyed solely by the cash influx from EarthGov, EarthGov scientific research and operations facilities, human needs and services organizations has been spared the brunt of the planet cracking collapse by the pickup in traffic with government sector. Planet cracking docks, ships, services, mining supplies, and tool vendors continue to post heavy losses. However, the CEC itself has found moderate new life for its facility in the R&D department of the government. Okay, oh, wrong button, sorry. My apologies. Inventory full, really? Old semiconductor, line racks. I don't really need either of those. Uh... Speaker shells. That I do need. So let's drop you. I keep pressing the wrong button. I apologize. Oh, damn it. Alright, uh. I guess I'm good on plasma energy, but the seeker rifle is nice to have. All right. Cool. Don't need the javelin spears. I will take all the money I can get, though. 
Oh, we're just leaving. Okay. Gosh, I do like the new stoop though. Uh oh. The power came off just for that. Oh my gosh. Isaac! Isaac, over here! Who are you? It's the drugs, Isaac. They gave us drugs to make us forget. But it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac! Isaac, look out! <laughs> All right, well, he's gone. B, so we're supposed to go that way. Wait, what? Oh, I don't, oh, there we go. I didn't mean to do that. I do like, I don't know what it is about this, but they've really upped the horror of this and I love it. Like, I really love it. And I can't help anybody either. We have to go. Ow. All right. That's where I'm supposed to go. I'm assuming that's dear old mom. Either that or dear old mom's in there somewhere. Oh, that's cool. Bonkus. Okay, let's go. I swear, if there's a fucking creature in there. Oh, well, that's handy. All right, let's go. Oh, no. They're so much faster. Or at the very least, they seem faster. Jeez, Louise. Okay, let's go. Don't need that. That's progress. What's over here? That's where I just came from. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna smack that just to be sure. So, a little bit of a questionnaire for you guys. Which Dead Space game is your favorite? Because I'm not going to lie. You're not getting in. I'm not opening this door for anyone. I don't care what That's you fine. That's you literally know. fine, buddy. I'm armed. Seeker I'm rifle. Trying to get in here. Seeker hey, shells. You stay away from the door. Okay. 
Okay, I've got full health, and then we've got a text log. What do we got here? Titan Station Conquering a Moon, Part 1 of 2. Planet cracking first became feasible in the decades following the discovery of the United Field Theory, which allowed us to control the Gravitron in the same manner we were accustomed to controlling the Electron. With the advent of large-scale applications of Gravitron control, it became clear to the mining consor consortiums that they, have a, they had a new tool at hand. Great day, I cannot read today. Shock point drives were in their infancy, so extrasolar mining was out of the question, and the dangers of planet cracking were still unknown. Saturn's moon Titan was selected as the site of the first moon harvest, as it was known back then, or as it was known back then. Saturn was as far from Earth as the consortiums were willing to work and still have reasonable access to timely supplies and support. That's interesting, actually. Yeah, that's progress. We're gonna mess around with the new with the new weapon. Alright, take two. Oh no. There are necromorphs everywhere. Is the entire sprawl infected? How'd this happen? Dana, that's her name. I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Tyvan built another one. On this station? Why? It's powerful alien technology. Tyvan wants that power. Get to the tram. It'll take you to the casino's tower's turn Dana? Damn it. Alright. Well, we got another, uh... Another save station. Which I will graciously take. Except... Yes. Oh, no. I'll take the seeker ammunition. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, she's dead. Damn! Not good. Oh, shit. My gosh. All right. Away we go. Let me for my own peace of mind. Okay. Okay. Power malfunction? There was another, uh... I'll take that. I'll 
take. Oh, that scared me. Jeez, Louise. I remember those guys, at least. Was that train covered in blood? Okay, so that's where I'm supposed to go. Let's do a little bit of looking around before we make any commitments. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, uh... <laughs> I love how they all say canceled or delayed. That's great. Well. That. Let me smack this guy. Take that. I don't trust that. Alright, what do we got? I like how we're getting more engineering work with Isaac. Oh, that was easy. Fun. Oh, I'm still moving. is here. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's one way to do it. Pressing E, pressing E, pressing E. Ah! Okay. That'll do it. There we go. 
Oh shit. Oh fuck. Jeez Louise. Move. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Dana, I need a new route. What happened? I thought we lost you. Unscheduled stop. Where am I? How did you end up there? Hang on. This won't be the most pleasant route, but it'll get you to the Steeny Towers residential sector. Damn it! Time and has your signal again. Who's moving? Okay. You're very important to the mic. Hold tight. I'll contact you soon. Alright. Objective added. Okay, so we got quite a couple things headed this way. Alright. Oh, looks like we've got quite a couple things waiting for me as well. Get some ammo, always welcome. Jeez Louise. Uh, that's not going to be anything crazy. Alright! Alright, except... I think I'm still technically in chapter two, right? Yep. Oh, nope, I'm in chapter three. Well, uh, I keep going. There's no reason to not keep going. That was a really short chapter, actually. Is that a child? That was a child. Hold on. Oh, gotta scratch my back. Ugh. Okay. Here we go. That's progress. What's over here? All right. Some money. Time for some child abuse. Oh, 
are the memories coming back to you? They're coming back to me. The good ones. And the bad ones. The more I remember, the more my head hurts. I keep seeing the symbols. Oh, huh, that's, a, that's an odd camera like angle. In him. They keep seeing his face. Shit, tell me. All right. Uh. Okay, so we're good here. So let's go to the store. I'm gonna keep this power note on me for a bit. Schematic downloaded power note. Ooh, can I buy those now? Ooh, I can. Actually, I'm gonna buy one. Inventory. So I'll keep all that. I will get rid of the pulse rounds and the line racks. I'm gonna buy another one. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna save here again. Except, I didn't see where it popped up that it was chapter 3, which is a little sad, but it is what it is. I don't know how many chapters are in this game. I think there were only like 12 in Dead Space 1. Well, that was quick. Hey Dana, there's this crazy guy that keeps contacting me. I saw him back at the hospital. Nolan Strauss. He was a patient in the project, just like you. Yeah? Well, why was he there? What does he want? He's a psychopath, Isaac. Stay clear of him. He murdered his own wife and child. Okay, I'll be careful. Shot on sight. This is not a drill. Alright. Let's uh, do a little bit of exploration. I see that down there. Come on, come on. I bet I can grab that. Booyah, I am a badass. Okay, let's go over here, see what we got. Text log. What do we got? United Spacefaring Guild History Series, Titan Station Conquering a Moon Part 2 of 2. A large colony was established on Titan to study the moon's every seismic detail and prepare it for disassembly. As the operation got underway, the orbital platforms that assisted with the work became the prototypes for the planet crackers that would soon follow. Titan was successfully cracked and harvested, only slightly behind schedule. It was a major boost for the then beleaguered population on Earth, who believed their extinction from lack of resources was imminent. Titan's harvest was halted before the entire moon was disassembled, dissembled, leaving the small shard where the original colony had started from here, the station grew in leaps and bounds as the new era of Planet Kraken got underway. Serving as both a critical research outpost and with the advent of Shockpoint Drives, a way station for all Planet Kraken missions going forward. It is now whimsically known as the Sprawl for having done just that over the many years of its operation. Okay. I probably shouldn't have done that. Well, too late now. Oh, that looks like it could lead somewhere, but it doesn't. I don't know what's going on with that. That's where we're supposed to go. Is there anything of value over here? There is. I hear peace. Ask us how... Oh, gosh. It's another marker thing. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Text log. Altman's Footsteps, a publication for followers of Michael Altman. We, the children of the Marker, grow tired of the oppressive, thinly veiled attacks from EarthGov on our rights to worship as we please, reduced hours of operation for the church, fire marshal restrictions on the size of revival events, permits needed to distribute literature. These are all poorly concealed attempts to quash the truth, our truth, and they will not succeed. 
the blasphemous, short-sighted, reckless, destructive, and hopeless path that EarthGov has us on is a dead end. One that only Unitology has the answer to. Altman has foreseen it, and we are blessed to execute it. Prepare yourselves, brothers and sisters. Convergence is nigh. Yeah, they're a bunch of crazies. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's see if we can open this up. There we go. Let's see what we can do. I got the plasma cutter again. We got... We're ready to roll. Oh, gosh. Dana, I thought you were routing me to residential. This looks like a unitology recruitment center. Am I still on track? Yes. There's an old maintenance access point in there that'll take you through the waste disposal system and into the Cassini Towers. Stay sharp. Alrighty. Text log. Titan Station Church of Unitology, Recruiting Report, Perry Jabot, Vested Member, Tithe Status, Fully Paid. Recruiting has slowed markedly in the last few weeks. This is surely due to EarthGov's recent slander campaign, painting us as carpetbaggers and insurrection. insurrectionists in the press. Regions from the churches at Venus Wayport and the Heliopause Observer are shocking in later this week to strategize a response. Expect additional budget to be allocated to public relations and media to combat this trend. Combat, sorry. Also, the CEC layoffs continue to, continue to negatively affect recruiting targets. We're down almost 30% year on year. Jabot out. Alright. Well. You know, that wasn't my smartest plan. But it actually worked out quite nicely, all things considered. Sorry, I hate to stomp. Ah, we're playing this game again. I have no reservations, my friend. I will stomp everything. Also take all that moolah. Okay, are we good? Yep, we're good. Oh boy, here we go. I'm sure this will go well. It's gone well every time I've done it so far. Uh. You know, every time it's actually not that bad. I regret nothing. Alright. Okay. Whoever sees this, listen up. You can use Kinesis to pull blades off dead ones and shoot back at them. Watch. Watch. You stayed alive three hours using this trick. You see? Just shoot it back at them. Wait, where's the other one? We're gonna bleed out soon. I got clipped pretty bad earlier. So help, this helps you out. Whoever you are. Well, that was nice of him. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, we'll come back here later, probably. Alright. 
Currently it's 12 a.m. Okay, that's not real time. I didn't think it was, but I figured I'd check just to be sure. All right, let's get a little bit of health upgrade. Uh, all right, and then I'll save one. Do a little bit of do a little bit of work there. All right, we've got more health. stomp this. I think I already did. Oh, there's also something here. I'll take that. We're gonna save. Alright. Accept. Yes. Alright. That could have gone so poorly. In we go. Entering zero gravity. Press Alt. Okay, I'm supposed to go that way. But there's stuff over here. Loot. Loot. And a power node. I'm half tempted to go and, uh... I'm gonna go around. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything else over here. What am I looking at? Cassini Apartments, activate. Oh, okay. Here we go. I was like, where am I going? Ah, shit. I know this isn't going to end well. Fuck me. Gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why would I... Oh, wait a minute. There's a power... Yeah, let's... Let's open this. What do we got? Jeez, I'll take it. Alright, let's switch over to this. 
Oh, that looks like it used to be a store. Alright, up we go. Gosh, this game is terrifying. I'm trying to conserve my ammo on both ends. I know I'm not playing on, like, a harder difficulty, but still. I'd like to conserve. Power note acquired. Don't mind if I diddly do. Yeah, that looks like progress, so we're not... hate those things. Alright, what do we got? Marion Hen, I'm going to just leave this log here for you to find when you come to get the rest of my stuff. I hope I don't forget anything. This is a really big deal. The rebirth is going to happen very soon, just like they said. It's a very special time, like once in a lifetime. Actually, once in a million lifetimes. They say we've been preparing for this since before we were human. Do you know how special that makes us? We're the ones who get to see it. I'm so excited my skin is tingling. I've got chills. Okay, I've got to go. The ceremony's begin in half an hour. I don't want to be late. Bye, sis. I love you so, so much. Come join us. Haha. -ha. Okay, bye. Oh, boy. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I think we're good. We're supposed to go that way. I'm not going that way. Not yet. Okay, so there's nothing in here other than weird symbols. Understandable. Have a nice day. I regret nothing in this scenario. To join is to survive. In here, there's nothing. Oh no. Well, that's not horrifying. I wonder, first of all, why are there a thousand credits in a bed in a baby's bedroom? Also, why is he seeing her in here? I wonder if that means something narratively. We're gonna head over here really quickly. There might not be anything for me, but then again. Might be quite a bit for me if I'm not careful. Oh, stasis pack. That's nice. Alright. Dana, Time and soldiers have found me. They're tracking me in some sort of gunship. You're almost here. Hurry. Okay. That is a good feeling. I like this weapon, actually. It's very precise. So that's where I'm supposed to go. What's over here? 
Yeah, I don't trust that. Never trust the corpse of a necromorph. The only good corpse of a necromorph is a stomp necromorph. I'm supposed to go. Okay, actually, is there store bench? Okay, so it's all that way. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save here. We're actually gonna end this episode here. I uh, I think this is a good place to call it quits for the night. Um, you know, I think so. Watch that be chapter four. Okay, yeah, no, we're still in chapter three. Alrighty. So, with that being said, uh, we're going to end this episode here. As always, guys, I hope you all enjoy it. This game is, at least at the beginning, it is a lot more terrifying than the original. Like, I don't know if it's because Isaac can talk now. I don't know if it's because they started it off on such a high note. I don't know. But great day is it terrifying. So, uh, I'm definitely going to look forward to playing more of this in the future. It's, uh, I typically try to record a couple episodes every day. Uh, they don't usually come out until later. But, uh, this game is a blast. So, also really liking the Seeker Rifle. Uh, of course, I gotta have that motherfucking thing on me with the, uh, with the, the plasma cutter. Uh, love that thing. But the Seeker Rifle's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Uh... In the next episode, we'll hopefully be able to upgrade some more stuff, and we'll hopefully be able to get some answers. So, without further ado, guys, have a great day or night, depending on whenever you watch this, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.